Megalodon was not simply the largest prehistoric shark that has ever existed. It was also the largest marine predator in Earth's history, outweighing both the contemporary great white shark and prehistoric reptiles, like Lyoplerodon and Cronosaurus, by a significant margin. Welcome everyone in today's video. We're going to look at top 10 wild facts about the Megalodon, the extinct genera Carcharocles, and Otodus are where most paleontologists classify the Megalodon. Like Homo sapiens, Megalodon is a species name rather than a genus name. Interested in learning more about this prehistoric animal? Let's examine amazing Megalodon facts. But before we proceed further details, if you're new to this channel, remember go ahead and to hit the bell icon to subscribe so you won't miss the informative videos we will upload in the future. Now get ready and make sure to stay tuned till the end as we dive right into the video. 1. The largest shark ever to have lived in comparison of the length of a human being to that of the great white shark, the whale shark, and the most conservative and most extreme estimates of the biggest known adult size of Carcharodon megalodon. It is estimated that the megalodon reached lengths of between 50 and 70 feet in length throughout its lifetime. It was the largest shark that has ever lived. The length of three great white sharks is equal to that. It was estimated that it weighed anywhere from 53 to 114 short tones, which is equivalent to 48 metric tonies. That's the weight of as many as 16 mature male African elephants. Even the youngsters were enormous, measuring an estimated 13 to 23 feet in length, making them longer than a fully mature great white shark. 2. Giant teeth. The megalodon did, in fact, possess enormous teeth. It possessed five rows of over 270 pointed teeth, and each tooth could grow to be over 7 inches long and over 4 inches wide at the base. The length of the megalodon tooth that is now considered to be the longest discovered is 7.6 inches. Only the well known Tyrannosaurus rex and the saber toothed cats are known to have had consistently larger teeth. The fangs of the Smilodon could grow up to 11 inches long while the teeth of the T-Rex could reach a maximum length of 9 inches. 3. Monster Bite The Megalodon should have been the primary focus of the film jaws. It's possible that the individual teeth of the T-Rex were larger, but the Megalodon had jaws that were genuinely enormous. The one recreated by fossil collector Vito Bertucci is about 9 feet in height and 11 feet in width, making it the largest ever found. That's so enormous that it could easily accommodate an entire school bus with room to spare? What do you get when you combine a massive jaw with extremely enormous teeth? The most devastating bite in all of history. According to the findings of a team of researchers in 2008, the biting force of the megalodon was somewhere in the range of 24,000 to 41,000 pounds of force. That is roughly equivalent to 10 times the force of a bite from a great white shark. Four. The ancestor of the great white? When it comes to the great white shark, scientists used to agree that it was a descendant of the megalodon, but this is currently up for question. Some people think that great white sharks and megalodons used to coexist, making them distant cousins. Due of this, it has been suggested that the megalodon be shifted from the genus Carcharodon, which the great white shark is a member of, to the genus Carcharocles. Megalodon's genus classification is still up for question. But those who'd rather avoid the argument can simply state C. Megalodon, which is acceptable to all sides, to avoid it. 5. Swimming with giant sharks. There were other enormous sharks that swam the oceans at the same time as the megalodon. Other prehistoric megatooth sharks included Angustidens, which was approximately 9.1 meters in length, and Chubutensis, which measured approximately 12.2 meters in length. Both of these sharks lived during the Cretaceous period. There were also sharks belonging to the genus Atotus, which were thought to have reached lengths of between 30 and 40 feet. Even though they were far smaller than the megalodon, they were still considerably larger than the great white sharks that exist today. 6. The ocean's top predator. When it lived, the megalodon held the highest position possible on the food chain. It preyed on various species of whales, including blue whales, sperm whales, humpback whales, bowhead whales, fin whales, and mink whales. It also consumed smaller sharks, seals, sea lions, dugongs, manatees, dolphins, 
porpoises, and giant sea turtles, among other marine mammals. Because megalodons had such huge teeth and jaws that were so strong, they frequently went for the tougher body parts, such as the shoulders, the spine, or the rib cage, in an effort to crush the essential organs that were located within. When hunting huge whales, a megalodon would go for the whale's fins and bite them off. This would prevent the whale from being able to swim away and give the megalodon more time to start munching on it. 7. Is the megalodon still around? There are rumors floating about from time to time that megalodons, which are enormous sharks, are still there. However, the scientific community is not persuaded. Several studies have been published, and they all come to the same conclusion. The megalodon no longer exists, and it hasn't done so for at least two or three million years. If it were still living today, the sharks and whales that we are familiar with probably would not be as numerous, nor would they be as huge. They would have been eaten had they been there. 8. Why the megalodon became extinct It's possible that the extinction of the megalodon shouldn't come as much of a shock considering how many other prehistoric species of comparable size have also perished over time. What factors ultimately contributed to its extinction? The researchers point to a few different aspects. One effect is that oceans all across the world are getting cooler. After all, Megalodons could not flourish in cold waters, which is why they avoided the polar seas and preferred to give birth in warm waters instead. Megalodons like to give birth in warm waters. The migration of megalodons to warmer waters coincided with the migration of the whales that they like eating to cooler waters, which made it more difficult for the megalodons to find food. In addition to this, the killer whale evolved and finally occupied the ecological niche that the megalodon had previously occupied. Killer whales are now considered to be among the most dangerous predators in the water because of their ability to immobilize sharks in their jaws to the point where they are unable to move or breathe. 9. A heap of teeth The majority of what we know about megalodons today comes from the petrified teeth of megalodons, and holy cow, there are hundreds upon thousands of them. They have been discovered in the waters surrounding islands all over the world, even as far south as New Zealand, as well as in waters that are very deep and are located a great distance from shore, such as the Mariana Trench in the Pacific Ocean. There has also been the discovery of a few spinal columns, the most notable of which was discovered in Belgium in 1926 and consisted of 150 bones. 10. That were once thought to be dragon tongues. The teeth of megalodons and other enormous sharks were referred to as tongue stones for many years. This name came about because people believed that these teeth were the tips of dragons' tongues, which turned to stone as soon as they were severed. Nobles used to wear them as good luck charms since it was believed that they could reverse the effects of a variety of poisons. It wasn't until 1667 that Nicolaus Steno, a scientist from Denmark, conducted in-depth research on them and determined that they were, in fact, shark teeth. This concludes today's video, and there you have it. 10 fascinating facts about one of the biggest fish, and, in my opinion, most renowned shark to have ever lived. Who knows? Maybe you could discover a petrified megalodon tooth in your own garden. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos from our channel. Thanks for watching and see you all soon!